Hi everyone, it's me Badrapa from HRB Embedded and Craft. Today we will learn how to make our own IoT based electricity energy meter using ESP8266 and monitor data on LCD display and a blink application on mobile. With the current technology, you need to go to the meter reading room and take down the readings. Thus, monitoring and keeping the truck records of your electricity consumption is a tedious task. To automate this, we can use the Internet of Things. As far as we know that the Internet of Things saves time and money by automating remote data collection. Smart energy meter has received quite a lot of acclaim across the globe in recent years. So why not build our own IoT based electricity energy meter? So here we need to select the node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, 20 by 4 LCD with I2C interface and PZEM0040 multifunctional AC power monitor. It can measure the electrical parameters. It is a very popular smart meter used in electrical consumption measurement projects. It is a great for measuring all electrical parameters like voltage, current, active power, frequency, power factor and energy consumed in kilowatt hours. Isn't it the great way to monitor the power consumption at your fingertips? So without getting late, let's get started. So here we using ESP8266 node MCU Wi-Fi module as Arduino like analog and a digital pins on its board. It supports serial communication protocols that is UART, SPI, I2C etc. Using such serial protocols, we can connect it with the serial devices like I2C enabled LCD display, magnetometer, gyrometers, accelerometer, RTC chips, GPS modules, touchscreen displays, SD cards etc. And also it is available in market at low cost. Another important module PZEM0040 multifunctional AC power monitor can measure electrical parameter. It is a very popular smart meter used in electrical consumption measurement projects. It is very much great for measuring all electrical parameters. It has power measurement range from 0 to 22 kilowatts with a voltage range of 80 to 260 volts AC and current range of 0 to 100 amps. The main part of PZEM0040 module is of SD3004 chip can be measured and thus we can know about the power consumption and total power consumed. We will interface PZEM0040 module with ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and send the data to Blink application. The Blink application dashboard will display the voltage, current, active power, frequency, power factor and energy consumed in kilowatt hours. Another hardware of our project uses LCDs. These LCDs are ideal for displaying only a characters. 16 by 4 character LCD display is an optional for my project. At the heart of the adapter is an 8-bit IO expander chip PCF8574. This chip converts the I2C data from the Arduino board into the parallel data required for an LCD display. These modules are currently supplied with the default I2C address of either 0x27 or 0x3F. Now let us see the circuit diagram and set up the hardware. This circuit diagram animation is made with the Microsoft PowerPoint. PZEM004T module is equipped with a TTL serial data communication interface via serial port where you can read and set the relevant parameters. SCL and SDA of I2C LCD module are connected with the GPIO pin 5 D1 and GPIO pin 4 or D2. VCC is connected to 3.3 volts of node MCU. If you use plus 5 power supply module, the output of power supply connected to V in pin of a node MCU and VCC of PZEM004 T to 3.3 volts. The RX and TX from PZEM004 T go to serial communications pin TX and RX of node MCU. Connect the current transformer and the AC live wires in parallel with the load. The wiring in the AC side must be respected 
as shown in circuit diagram. So here a circuit assembly is made on a breadboard. Here it is node MC ESP8266 and a 20 by 4 LCD display PZ em 4 t as well as a current transfer. Here I am using RT air gun as load reference to display all electrical parameters in LCD display and also in Blink application. You no need to install Blink application on Android or iPhone. Download it from Play Store and set it for a new project. All required libraries like ESP8266 Wi-Fi, I2C LCD, Energy Meter module and other required libraries are included in this code. Authorized token is generated from Blink dashboard, copied and entered here. SSID and password are optional and need to change as per your settings. All electrical parameters are equated to zero and declared as a float numbers. In this line, the LCD is started by LCD.begin. Now Blink.begin is started using SSID and password by its IP address. Blink app is begin to run and start displaying its electrical parameters. Now we will upload the code. First, from the tools menu, the board is selected as Node MCU 1.0 ESP 12 E module. Then select a port which is already connected. Then hit the upload button. For uploading, it takes a little bit time. If you are new to my channel and not subscribed, click on subscribe immediately and hit the bell button so that you will not miss my new project videos. Please comment below in the comment box. Your comments are more valuable to me. Okay, now the code is uploaded. Okay, now let us see the values from the serial monitor. And here we need to take a 9600 baud rate and it starts blink. So now it shows the values. The voltage to 34 volts and current is 0.187 and power is 21 watt. 